Moving to a new place is a big deal, but moving to your first home is the real deal. Today we want to share our top five tips for moving and some awesome hacks to take this milestone from costly and stressful to affordable and enjoyable. moving history so that you know I'm qualified to give you some good information about how to move. In the past 10 years, I have moved nine times. Eight out of those nine times were from rental unit to rental unit, but the ninth time was actually into my very first home. It was my biggest move by far and also the most expensive move because I had to transport my life, my family, everything I own, seven hours across the province. In that experience and the many past experiences, here's everything that I learned. Number one, you need to take inventory. What do you actually own? Because now is the time to make cutthroat decisions. Rather than carry everything from one place to the next, it's a good time to sift through all of your clutter and actually decide what you need. A really good place to start is by actually taking inventory and being realistic with those numbers. Maybe you have three spatulas. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Now is the perfect time to choose your favorite spatula and get rid of the other two. I know that's a small example, but think of that as a metaphor for everything else that you own. Less stuff means less to pack, less to transport, and less to unpack when you get there. As a new homeowner, I know that before we actually made the move into this house, I used to keep everything. Now that I was looking at a more permanent move, it was time to purge and actually take a more intentional approach with all the things that I decided to keep. Organize your stuff and label like crazy. Because with moving, you might be packing a lot of the stuff way before the actual moving day. A good idea is to organize all of your stuff by rooms. Start with your least used room and pack up everything that you don't use on a regular basis. So for instance, you're gonna wanna pack up your guest room before you're gonna wanna pack up your main bathroom. Because you use that bathroom every single day, but you probably don't use the guest room quite as often. Make sure that you label every single box. You don't wanna be guessing what is in each box when you finally go to unpack because it's just another level of added stress. When you do actually pack the boxes, make sure that you put all the heavier items on the bottom and the lighter items on top. You also want to make sure that you don't leave any empty space in that box because every little nook and cranny is somewhere that you can shove something to make sure nothing shifts around and gets broken. Make sure you are making use of every single space that's inside that box. Research all the services you'll need for moving and book them early. When we went to actually book a moving truck, we knew that we were going to be DIY movers do everything on our own, but we knew that this would mean a lot more research and a lot more time spent looking for the appropriate company, an affordable option, and something that was actually available. The earlier you book, the better, because you already have your moving date in mind, most likely, so it's a good idea to just get the moving truck booked and out of the way, or the moving company if you're choosing to go the professional route. If you do choose to move by yourself, make sure that you choose a moving truck that has a ramp so that you can make packing and unpacking everything really accessible. Because you have to spend money to move, make sure you're spending money on all of the right things. Booking a good moving company or moving truck is absolutely essential. And since you already learned how important research can be, from here you can actually look at all the moving supplies you're going to need. If you're going the DIY route, some of these trucks don't actually have everything that you need to make the move really simple. Even if they do have the equipment, sometimes you'll find that it won't be in the truck when you go to pick it up. On top of that, it's actually probably a lot more affordable to just buy those expenses on your own and use them or sell them after you're done than it is to rent them from the company who might be charging a higher price. So consider purchasing your own moving blankets, maybe a dolly that you can use again in the future, really solid boxes that you can actually store things in once you move to your new place, some tie down straps, any equipment that you definitely will use again or that is cheaper to buy elsewhere. Having the equipment all set to go before the actual moving day can be a huge advantage because you don't want to be worrying about running off to Walmart to grab something last minute. Make sure you book all of your utilities and your appointments for your new place before you actually make the move. If you're moving into a new place, you typically need to set up internet, utilities, and electricity and all that good stuff on your own. Don't be afraid to book and schedule these things way in advance. 
A lot of times it can take like up to weeks or months even to get an internet appointment for your new place and that's something that a lot of us want immediately. Other things like your electricity doesn't take a long time to set up, it can be done day of, but it's one thing you can check off your list so you don't have to worry about it once you actually move. Not to mention if you're busy trying to close on your first home, one other thing added to your to-do list is just too much. At the end of the day, moving is only as stressful as you let it be. Stay organized, do your best to only take what you need, and last tip, make sure that you always protect your personal belongings like your passports and documents by keeping them with you or somewhere that really is convenient to grab. Thanks so much for watching today's video. It can be super stressful to make a large move so just making sure that all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, did I do that backwards? Yes, it is so beneficial. If you haven't made a move yet but you want to, head to zolo.ca or download our app and scroll and look at all the beautiful houses that are on the market right now because it's so much fun, even if you're just daydreaming. You can also head to zolo.ca slash news for a little bit more moving tips and tricks that might help you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications so you are the first to watch every time we upload each month. And that's, that's it, that's all you need to do.